All right, we got us screwed down, siliconed up, and uh, gonna give it one more quick spray. So I'm gonna put the drain and the fill plug in so we don't get anything inside. And guys, always, always make sure before you even attempt to do a change or whatever, make sure that this isn't all rotted out. If it is, then you're going to use some kind of like a transfer pump or a hand pump to either suck out the old oil if you're just going to top it off or uh, change the oil without taking all this apart. So just be careful of that. That's why this is primed up so it won't uh, rot out on me. So I'm just going to twist these on hand tight for now. So, also guys, which I should have done earlier, the uh, inlet hoses, I should have put a piece of tape over the top of those so you don't get any dust or debris into the pump. I'm just going to put this over for now. about it for now. I'm gonna let that dry up. Good thing about this stuff. It dries pretty quick. And then uh, we're gonna go pop our red. We're probably not gonna add any fluid in till tomorrow. I want to make sure that uh, our TV dries up first. Give me a good connection. All right guys, everything's dry. We left this part for last because that's going to be facing us and I want to spray it with the hoses on it because those hose connections always end up rotting anyways. So not too shabby, nice and protected. So one other thing we need to do, so as you can see I strapped down the plow. Um, I guess you don't really need to do this. I guess you can uh, attach it to your truck and do the same thing. I just don't want to bring my truck in and out and let all the heat out, so I just strapped it down. So basically what I want to do is I want to get all the fluid out of the lines and the cylinders right now. So as you can see, we got some going on reason I strapped it down is I can't really uh, move the plow blade without the whole thing moving on me. So basically all we're doing is pushing this inward as you can see. I'm getting the fluid out of there. And there it is. Okay, and now we're going to move on to the other hose and push it the opposite direction. Okay, this is her. And there we go.
now we're gonna get ready for the uh, the motor all right guys we're getting ready to put the motor back I wanna put the drain plug on now no, I don't have to bend down and look for it I don't want to over tighten it and strip it that's enough and that was a six all right now we're gonna get the motor over and get ready with our bolts All right, so one thing I did forget to tell you guys is the uh, the top ram. I didn't tell you guys we had to push that one down to let all the uh, fluid out. So the hose connections are on this side. It's going to pop her in here. I hope bringing that ram down doesn't affect us. Okay. That's almost it. Let's get the plug out of the oil pan there. Pop it through the hole. into place check out our lines okay now almost I got the first one threaded I just tilted it a little bit so I can get it seating correctly but as you can see it's got these holes here so you can actually pre-thread these and just pop them in if you wanted to. Whatever's easier for you. But we need our famous anti-seize over here. These bolts have a little bit of corrosion on them. Goes a long way with this stuff. That's it. All right, we're gonna bolt these on and get back to it.